Today we're going to be talking about build orientation and how it affects both the aesthetics of a part and the functionality of a part. So what we have here on this build sheet is the same part built in three different orientations and the uh, part that was built upright with the tallest Z has a much smoother surface finish on it. And then you, the part here that was laid down flat, you can actually visually see the layer lines or the stepping that are inherent to the technology. So in our quoting engine, we have the ability to choose from multiple uh, or build orientations that will then give a different price level to the customer. But they also have to be considering what they're gonna use that part for. It really all depends on what the customer is looking for for the final application. Are they looking for a quick prototype just to validate their geometry? Or do they actually want to use this functionally in an application? This part is a good example of where orientation affects the functionality of the part. And along these layer lines, between Z layers is weaker uh, than what you're going to see on the other geometry. So I can easily take this and flex it, and there you see that that broke off pretty easily. The one you see on the build sheet here, which is laid down flat, if you look at it up close, aesthetically it's not as pleasing, but functionality-wise it, it's much tougher and much stronger. So this might go through hundreds of iterations during their testing, or this might be used in the final application, so they need a structurally sound part.